Hey everyone, this is Eric. Today uh, we're going to look at the land function. Now, a lot of these, a lot of the functions that, that, that I'm going through right now, you've probably seen in another lesson, but the fundamental is that the land function is to test the length of a string. So, land length. So, that we have some text over on the worksheet called John Everett Maxwell. Okay, this guy, uh, he's been in a number of videos, but so that's the same name, John Everett Maxwell. And so now we're going to assign it to a variable, test the length of name, and then report the length of the name that's there. And in another, another videos, we use it to subtract a, a value from, subtract the length from a space where space is to get a certain bit of text to, par to help in parsing. The length fun length function, it has a lot of uses, and you're going to see that it has a lot of uses. You see programming has to do with math, and you want to find the total and then subtract the part. And then uh, they go ahead and you're going to get your result. And you can do that pretty consistently. And your your mind is going to is going to develop and think like that eventually. It's going to think uh, in terms of math. I don't care if you've never been good at math. Uh, I was never really good at math, but uh, I know that now I can see a lot of those principles really coming to uh, uh, I need to mind out with for, for this. And <laughs> this is basic math and uh, basic algebra. I mean, you're, you're assigning a a value to a, a variable which is unknown. You, you don't know what it is, but so you're assigning a value to it. All right, so back to the land function. We're looking at, we did dimension two variables here. The int land, okay, this, you can name whatever you want to name it. int length, okay, I'll just name it something s a small or x. Well, no one knows what X is. So int lan kind of tells me what what the what the the variable is. int lan as integer. Integers can be up to thirty two thousand and something characters. The long as gonna be up to two million. So um, you you're gonna have a lot a lot more with longs. So if you know that uh, your value is going to be that high, or you're going to loop through the, the all the cells in your worksheet, you know, all the rows in your worksheet, uh, it's not too long. But here, my length is kind of small. My name's not that long, so it's going to be it's going to fit into an integer. And then uh, the name is going to be the the string. I think somebody just sent me a a me uh, message. So that's my phone did that. So I'm going to press F8 and then go over here and say, okay, well, rent, rent. cell A1, which again is range, so that's my cell. Okay, it's my address. A1. For range is the the cell range, the cell address, which is A1. Address like you have a house, you have a certain number of your house, it's uh, your address. It's where you live. Okay, so A1, the length of that cell is 20. So len just takes one argument, the uh, expression, and then the length of the name uh, so I'm using the concatenation here, and length of the name it is bang twenty. So if the length of the name is such such and such of a length, then do this. If the if something if if it's if it's a certain length, then do this. So I'm using the length of the name concatenating it. To then uh, to a numeric value. Okay, great, and uh, hopefully you gain some value from this. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks. Bye.